Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Allison Kinnear. Today we are going to be talking about doing the next right thing. So this is by far my favorite song out of all the songs that Disney has made. It comes from Frozen 2. There is a beautiful, beautiful song that Kristen Bell sings that talks about doing the next right thing, especially when overcome with grief. Um, it's also a mantra that Glennon Doyle talks about in Untamed. And it is, it is just a mantra that I live by in my life so often. Last week I talked about um, I talked about making a decision that intuitively I knew I should have said no, but I said my reluctant yes to. And since then I've been thinking about, well, what do I do? What do I do? And I realized like, I've got to do the next right thing for me, right? Today is also the first day of school for my kids. And I wanna have a conversation with the parents out there who are experiencing first days of school in whatever shape, form it takes. Um, you know, I have some friends and I and myself included who are sending our kids to school. I have other friends who are like, nope, and they are keeping their kids at home. And what happens oftentimes is we stop and we take a look around and we go, well, what's the right thing? What's the right thing to do as a parent? Is the right thing to do is to send them or is the right thing to do is to keep them as if there is one right thing for us to do, as if there is one right way to recover from mistakes, as if there is one right way to grieve. We make this assumption that there is a right way and if we just find it, then we can do things the right way. But here's the thing, there is no one right way. There are many right ways. And the trick is to find your right way. What is your right way? What is your right way, the very next thing? Like, what is that very next thing that you can do to move on past a mistake, to send your kids to school or not, or whatever, system you have hooked up for the year, right? Like what is the next right thing for you to do? So I think about, um, for those of you who like to know the ending, who's like, well, if I send my kids to school, then will they get sick? Will we get sick? How will that happen? How will that work? Right? For those who like to know the ending, it makes, it reminds me of um, my best friend once told me that she can't sleep on a train. You know, um, sometimes you can take an overnight train somewhere. And she was saying, I can't sleep on a train because I need, in my mind, I need to help the conductor drive the train. Like I can't sleep because there is a part of me that's trying to help the conductor drive the train. So if you're one of those people, who needs to help the pilot fly the plane or help the conductor try, uh, uh, drive the train in whatever way you want to know what's about to happen, this whole thing can feel really uncomfortable to not know the ending, to not know, will your kid get sick? Will they not? Is this the right, the right decision? Is it not? The fact is there is far too much uncertainty in this world for us to make a prediction about an accurate prediction about if your specific child, if your specific family will be impacted or not. And in what ways? It's too unknown. We, 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 we cannot predict that. And ironically, we never have been able to predict that. We, we never quite know what life has got in store for us around the bend. We never do. And so that doesn't mean we need to freak out. It doesn't need to be mean we have to be on high alert, helping the conductor drive the train all the time. Sometimes we have to be along for the ride. Because when we are alert and trying to help see what's going to happen, even though we can't see what's going to happen, that is a recipe for exhaustion, and that is also a recipe for missing out on the moments of life. 
the life that's actually there. So part of this work becomes going, what does my child need? What does my family need? What do I need? What's gonna help me sleep better at night? Is my kid going to school? Is my kid not? Is my kid doing a homeschool? Is it, what, what is gonna be the thing? What is my next right move? Because so often we hear the noise. We hear the noise of other people. We hear the noise of articles. We hear the noise of social media. We hear the noise of everything else. A lot of people can have opinions about what we do, how we recover from our mistakes, the decisions we make as parents, how we should grieve, whatever the thing may be. A lot of people can have a lot of opinions about how we should do that. But the real question that we need to fall back to is we need to fall back to that question of what is my next right move? That's all. What's my next right thing? That's all we need to figure out. The rest be damned. Katie, I so feel that need to help the conductor drive the train. I've never heard a better description of that feeling. Yes, yes. Yes, you put your child on the train without you and it's still so torn up. Yes, and so sometimes we have to trust that putting our kids on the train maybe was the best right move. That was the best, the next right thing. And that we have to trust that the conductor has done its training. The conductor knows how to drive the train the conductor knows how to get the train safely from point A to point B. And then we get to do our work to take care of ourselves so that we can enjoy the ride. All right, Cheryl, Katie, thank you so much for your comments. I'm gonna put a link to what I believe is one of the best Disney songs ever written. Um, it's all we can do is the next right thing. That's truly it. Blessings to all of you. Blessings to everyone who feels like they put their kid on a train or that they are on a train and they want to, to, to help the conductor drive it. I'm with you. I'm with you. See you next week.